Hey butchers, uh, just a little update here. I'm becoming more familiarized with this thing again. Uh, when we moved, uh, I kind of just threw it in the basement and uh, Mrs. Butcher has been using it for her health and fitness and unfortunately due to the lack of work and staying at home more and not being able to socially distance myself from my cupboards and my fridge, I packed on a bit of weight. Now it's time to get back to life. So what I'm doing the treadmill, I don't like to just stare at a wall. Uh, nothing's finished down here, nothing looks good. I'm not gonna buy a TV to throw up on there, so I gotta figure out something. And I'm thinking, if I could just mount uh, something maybe uh, eye level. You know, like you're gonna normally walk. You're gonna walk with your eyes in this position. Uh, some type of shelf that sits here that I could put an iPad or phone or tablet or something like that on there and, I don't know, either do some work or just figure some stuff out. So let me uh, get some measurements and uh, see if I can make this uh, more pleasurable to use. Not that that's easy. All right, uh, wood butchers. Uh, I got a little bit of uh, a little bit of work done here today. Uh, found some more of this cedar. Uh, you know, got some rough cut done on the uh, bandsaw. Hit it with the thickness planer and the joiner and got it all sort of about the same height. I was gonna do a half lap joint uh, at the side here, kind of do a something like that idea and half lap this, but it seems like it'll be better if I just do a straight overlap joint. I don't know. Uh, I'm cutting out uh, a radius here uh, so that it can fit on the uh, top of the unit. Um, and then this is a cutout for where the uh, uh, water bottle holder slash some other stuff is, is in this area. So I gotta cut it out. Um, basically it's gonna just slide down over top of the uh, face of it on the outsides. This is gonna have to be routed to a very wide radius, probably about a three quarter inch, I'm thinking. So anyways, I got the, the stuff milled down. I, I went downstairs, did a story stick on the uh, on the uh, treadmill itself, just to get a sense of what I need. And then I'll slowly work things down with the bandsaw and the sanders and all that kind of stuff and make it all purdy. Anyways, I'll give you an update when I get some more done. All right, uh, so next step on the project, I, I got it, like I said, I got everything milled up. Um, I traced out the top of the curve, <laughs> my treadmill is curved. So I traced out the top of the curve on the, on this and through a course of uh, bandsaw scribing, um, lots of use on the uh, sanders. Again, having that uh, uh, drum sander really helps. Um, I got the length kind of figured out. Um, and then uh, both edges, um, they're gonna contact the treadmill, have a three quarter inch radius round over on one edge because the way the treadmill is designed it has that kind of a round on one side where it's gonna butt in. I'll show you better when it's up and running. And then on one side, there is a cup holder that I had to cut around. Uh, when it's all attached, if this was where it's supposed to be, it's hitched, I don't know, a couple degrees that way. Uh, this kind of catches on the cup holder. So I'm gonna bring that out a little further so that, that works. So it can tuck underneath the handrail. Uh, I have sanded a profile into this, basically trial and error, take a little bit, do some measurements, take a little bit, do some measurements. There's a lip on the outside that I had to put a little relief into. Uh, so this has been done on both pieces. The uh, straight one without the cutout is uh, in the basement, just in place for a fit up. This one I have to adjust. I'm gonna put it on top of this and then I can figure out my real lengths for cutting these two ends. And then I'm gonna basically glue it in place. Um, let it sit for a few hours, then uh, start figuring out how to do the next part. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but a couple clamps, a little bit of wood, and I'll uh, be able to figure that out. So just thought I'd give you a quick update as to where this is at. Okay, uh, so this is kind of what I've spent the last few hours working on. Um, again, just trying to get this nicely notched in and con, uh, contoured so it's gonna hold there. Uh, I'm working on the 
contour here, getting everything kind of nicely routed out. This was the hardest one here, just to get it all nicely done up so that it didn't interfere with the water bottle and uh, other stuff. Um, and then getting this all done up. The hardest part was actually trying to get this board centered within the arch. Uh, this at 90, this at 90, everything nicely level. So I've come as close as I can. I'm not gonna fiddle with it anymore, but it sits nicely here. So all I'm gonna have to do is put a ledger up here. And then I think I'm gonna make a thing that'll tilt like this because as the treadmill tilts up, if I, if I made it like a nice height here, if we tilt the treadmill up, things are gonna fall off. So I gotta be thinking how I'm gonna manage that. So, you know, probably the easiest thing would be to just make a ledger across here um, and then just back this with some boards to support stuff. I gotta think on that. Anyways, bit by bit. Hey, okay, uh, next step in the process. Uh, I got it all glued up. It sat overnight uh, with the clamps on the uh, um, treadmill so I know where everything's at. Uh, I don't know what the heck happened here. For some reason there was something on the clamps that transferred into the wood. Uh, by the way, <laughs> little uh, not so pro tip, maybe clean your clamps off before you use them. Uh, you can even see up here, I think there's a, yeah, there's a little witness mark there. Uh, who knows the heck what that ever is. I'll clean it up somehow, sand it off. Uh, so we got the main panel back here. It's super thin and light. Um, so I'm gonna put another sort of piece up on the back here. I was thinking about making it on the front face, but I think I'll make it on the back of the uh, unit just so that if I want a, something taller, it'll stay there. But I want something thicker than this, this little thin guy here to, uh, to do everything good. But uh, uh, I, I like the knots. Uh, the termite likes the knots. She likes the kind of rustic, Character. you know, characterized wood. This is all reclaimed cedar off of some old posts. So um, I, I like it. I even, you know, there's even some saw marks and stuff in it here. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of partial to that kind of look. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna mill up that last piece to go here. Uh, once it's glued in place, then I'll know how long to cut these off and uh, we're good to go. The other reason I want another thicker one in is, is I may make an adapter to hold something closer. Oh, too close, too close, too close. Um, so if, if I want the iPad or the phone a little closer to me or angled a little bit, I can hang it over the top. But this. Uh, this is gonna work really good. Anyways, uh, let's uh, mill it up. Hey, all right, project is finished. Um, just testing it out right now. So I can put the uh, iPad or my phone or whatever up on the uh, platform here. It sits, I think, really nicely on the uh, treadmill. It doesn't look totally out of place. Um, certainly does add a little bit more space to put stuff. It's really secure. This thing only had I don't know if you can even see it. There's just like a little knob here you can put like a book or whatever on. They didn't work very good. Things fell off all the time and it would hit the uh, safety switch and knock it off. So, I like this. Uh, filming on a treadmill, not always the easiest thing. So, I'm happy with it. If I take the pad off and I stand on the side so I don't have to worry about that anymore. So pretty easy, it just, one hand comes off. All you have to do, nice and gentle, just slide it in. One, two, three points of contact, and it's solid. Uh, I had this up a little bit faster than the 1.0 uh, kilometers an hour. Worked fine, no bouncing, no twisting or anything like that. So project done, on to the next thing.